Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning as usual. And I'm out here to check on my maize fields. Maize is same as corn. And that happens to be our staple food here in Kenya. We are so lucky to be receiving adequate rains down here. So we plant twice a year. We have two harvesting seasons every year. This will be my second harvest of maize this year and I did two acres. There's been a lot of rain. We are currently experiencing El Nino rains, but the maize look quite healthy. Looks like we are going to have a very good harvest. We have different seeds for different seasons. For instance, in the beginning of the year, we plant uh, seeds that are meant for the long rains. And then in the second planting, we use seeds for the short rains. Unfortunately, this year, we are experiencing El Nino rains. We weren't prepared for it. And we planted the regular short rain seeds. But the farms look good. We just hope uh, El Nino is not going to interfere with anything. So while walking around the farm, I had some sounds and I decided to check it out. And a neighbor here has a factory right inside their home. And they are making jaggery. If you know jaggery, it's made from uh, sugarcane juice. The sugarcane is squeezed, then the juice is harvested. It's then boiled and then molded into jaggery. Many of you have advised me to substitute my regular sugar with jaggery or honey. Honey is a bit expensive, so I am going to buy myself some jaggery and I'm going to try it out. If it can work in my tea, then I think it can replace the sugar. It's quite interesting watching how the kids are helping out with this. It's like they've mastered the art. They are doing it without supervision and I'm just scared for them, especially when I look at this machine over here. And they are literally doing it with their hands. What if the machine crushes their hands? But they look so experienced, so I think maybe their parents are not worried. But it's a common thing in the African society for kids to be doing chores around the home, chores even adults can do, so it's quite normal here. But because I'm a paranoid mom, my child won't be doing anything like this. So I realized they also have a shop right inside their home. And uh, the mom sells in the shop. So let me buy myself some jaggery. And once I use it, I will give you guys the feedback. So this is where they store all the jaggery before sale. I understand it's used in making local liquor. And uh, there are also guys who just buy it to sweeten their drinks or just eat it the way it is. So this block costs 80 Kenya shillings, that is roughly half a dollar. It's about one kilogram in weight. And I think sugar, that same amount costs 220 Kenya shillings. That's more than a dollar. I'm back home, so Lexi stayed home. And I'm just going to make for her something to eat. Today I'm doing fried spaghetti. I don't know if you try tried this, but it's so yummy. You're going to try this recipe after this. Plain spaghetti is boring. So I really love to fry mine. First I pre-boil it just a bit. And then I cool it down in cold water before frying. This is just to avoid overcooking. You know, the moment you leave spaghetti in hot water, it keeps boil, it keeps cooking. So if you don't want it to overcook, get it out and dip it in cold water. So I fry my 
spaghetti the normal way i fry most things i use chopped onions with oil once the onions are cooked then i add tomatoes and then i let the tomatoes cook once they're well cooked then i will add in my salt and any spices of your choice i don't go heavy on spices so i'm just using curry powder which has a bit of chili in it and it gives it such a nice spicy taste so once i'm done with the spices then i go in with the spaghetti and then mix it all up you should be here to smell the aroma so i pour in the spaghetti and just mix everything up look how beautiful it's turning i like the colors and i think it's quite interesting let me know what you think about it or how you cook your spaghetti i'd also love to try your recipes so once everything is mixed and it's cooked then i go in with the green onions i don't like to let the green onions cook because i need that smell they smell so nice so when it's raw the better so i mix it up and then i don't let it overcook that is just after mix, mixing it up then it's ready to eat i'm still on detox but i would have really loved to enjoy this so i'll just be serving lexi and her cousin and this is really really delicious with the avocado please let me know if you'd enjoy this i would love to eat this once i'm done with my detox then i'm getting back to eating but i want to eat very healthy and i want to try omad thank you so much guys for watching thank you for being here i'll see you in the next one bye bye